I started the conference 20 years ago, mm -hmm. I did have a vision of it lasting 20 years or plus, and it's great to see it actually happening. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, even as I watched over the years, all the conferences that we benchmarked as our sort of uh, reference have all come and gone. And the uh, System Thinking Action by Pegasus is still here, still going strong by uh, any measure of a conference over the years. So uh, that's a great feeling to come back to. It also signals that that the, the need that Pegasus fills uh, in the world around system thinking and what it can provide is uh, still relevant, and I would say not just still relevant, but increasingly of greater relevance. And no greater signal for that was is been around than the systemic collapse of our financial system, mm. you know, our financial institutions that shows us how interconnected our world has become. Uh, what I'm encountering wherever I go and the places where I think people are struggling are the after effects of the crisis of fragmentation that is a direct result of the success of the previous era, which was the era of the in, uh, industrial age, the machine age, in which it was conquering by dividing, right? So the old adage of conquer, divide and conquer, that if a system was too complex or too big, you just broke it up and got into smaller parts. You understand the smaller parts and you manage them. And everything works fine until the interconnections and the interdependencies start to become more and more a prominent aspect of the system behavior. When they were decoupled and you had a different department working with another department in their own ways and they interfaced here and there, that worked fine. Mm. In this day and age, what we're discovering is they're much more tightly interconnected. And if they don't work well together, you start to, the cost of the fragmentation is grossly outweighing the benefits of the independence of those pieces. So this is why in what I'll be talking about around the third generation leadership challenge, one of the key challenges, I believe, is this issue of fragmentation, system fragmentation, organization fragmentation. So it's not that the divide and conquer is completely inaccurate, because obviously you can't uh, manage a whole system all at once, right? In an organization, let's say, as complex and big as IBM, mm -hmm. you can't do it. So, of course, it is in parts. The difference is that the parts remain connected to the whole and it understands its role in the whole. And so that's what I would call as a healthy differentiation as opposed to fragmentation, which looks similar but is quite different. Because in fragmentation, each part begins to believe that they are a whole onto themselves or that they exist as separate from the whole and then begin to do things that damage the whole for the benefit of their own peace. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what I see in system after system, organization after organization, where they have taken the divide and conquer, the, the analysis uh, perspective of breaking into smaller parts to its logical extreme to the detriment of the whole. And so the need for system thinking uh, grows when people are beginning to suffer from that fragmentation, as opposed to a differentiation that says, I understand that I'm part of this whole, but I play a different role that contributes to the larger whole. And so the third generation leadership challenge, in my mind, is to bring people back from the, the negative impact of that fragmentary view to understand the holistic perspective within which they have a differentiated role to play.